Welcome, foolish mortals. Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark, I'm Jim, and this is Malcolm. So, you know what that means. It's a Dollar Tree Theater haunted doll movie. Uh, we watched The Boy. This is uh, actually a rewatch for me. Um, I watched this multiple years ago, like double digit years ago. Uh, got some notes. I'm not going to do a spoiler review on this one because it is still one that I think if you haven't seen it, you should see it. Check out this trailer and then come back and we'll talk. We've had a number of potential nannies come through already. Do you think you can manage? Of course. I'm Malcolm. Hi. I'm the grocery boy. Well, grocery man. <laughs> Lead the way. Allow me to introduce Mr. Hilcher. And this is our son, Brahms. <laughs> Music gives him so much joy. Brahms is not like other children. It is very important that you follow these rules. Be good to him and he'll be good to you. No offense, Brahms, but you kind of creep me out. someone else to see it. See what? If you leave him alone, they don't give you a sign. This is like some kind of magic trick, right? It's not a trick. Tell me about the real Brahms. He was downright strange. A little girl from town used to come out here to play with Brahms. They found her body in the woods. By the time the police arrived, the place was up in flames. Brahms didn't make it out. Hello? No one's been out there for years. You wouldn't hurt me, would you, Brahms? It's not safe in this house. You don't understand what's happening. He's alive. Good to him, won't you? All right, so The Boy is a 2016 film. It's an hour and 37 minutes. Stars Lauren Cohen. She's the, the lead actress. She's probably most recognized for playing Maggie on The Walking Dead. Um, like I said, this is a rewatch for me. And I think don't know that I was uh, remembering how much I actually like her in this movie. Um, I've only seen her in a few things, but um, this movie, I think she does a good job. A lot of this movie hinges on her uh, doing some performance uh, reaction type performances alone. Um, and I think she does a really great job at that. The, uh, the basic storyline is Greta, who is the character she plays, is a young American woman who takes a job as a nanny in a remote English village and discovers that the family's eight-year-old is actually a life-size doll that the parents care for just like a real boy. I'm a real boy! Uh, let's see, as a way to cope with the death of their actual son 20 years ago, when she violates the list of strict rules, her worst nightmare is brought to life by a sense, by a series of disturbing, inexplicable events, and she comes to believe that the doll is alive. So, yeah, there's um, 10 rules that she has to follow. And let me see if I can 
Fine, though. So, uh, no, rule one is no guests. Two, never leave Brahms alone. Three, uh, leave, have meals in freezer. Never cover Brahms' face. Read a bedtime story. Play music loud. Clean the traps, which is a pretty important rule. Only Malcolm brings deliveries. Brahms is never to leave and always kiss goodnight. And Malcolm, uh, coincidentally, is the uh, caretaker uh, who comes and goes throughout the story. Not you, Malcolm. He's a character. Uh, let's see. Who is he played by? Uh, Rupert Evans. So it's a um, recognizable cast. Uh, some of my notes included that you get like a creepy vibe right from the beginning of the movie, um, which is nice. They do a good job with uh, creating an atmosphere. Uh, the house is very cool looking. The imagery is good. I like the style of film techniques that were used and the lighting is good. My one um, common thing that I mention in my reviews is the sound. For me, I had a very difficult time uh, with a lot of the dialogue, so <clears throat> I may have missed things. At one point, I thought, oh, what a clever use or lack of use of music to intensify this scene. And I really think it just was me not being able to hear it. I don't know if it was just because of the DVD copy I had or, you know, I have bad hearing, so it could obviously just be that. Um, there's like a build to the suspense and uh, things really um, amp up once the uh, parents go on a vacation and uh, also um, Greta starts breaking the rules. She's not following the list. So she has a, sh a shower scene that I would probably say is kind of like the turning point for things to amp up a little bit. Uh, there's some jump scares. Uh, it really gives uh, a, a good hour's worth of misdirect. I, I don't want to, like I said, spoil too much of it because I do think this is a, a, a watch-worthy movie at least once. Um, I'm glad that I rewatched it. I'm glad that I found this at the Dollar Tree. Uh, it gets a six-star rating on IMDb, uh, so that's that's toward the uh, top spectrum of of ratings. Um, but yeah, like I said, it kind of gives like a ghost story vibe to it. Like there's paranormal activity happening. Um, Greta, she thinks maybe she's losing her mind, um, and then that kind of changes a little bit when. She gets a PB&J sandwich left at her door. Uh, and that's kind of like her wake-up call moment in the movie where she starts embracing the rules. She starts caring for Brahms uh, the way she's supposed to. Things are very copacetic for a little while. And then things start to amp up again when uh, somebody else arrives at the home. Um, there is one scene, and I don't know why it sticks out to me other than that I do enjoy writing, and um, <clears throat> I actually spend probably more time than the average person does with trying out different paper, like uh, resume quality paper, calligraphy paper, different types of paper, and how different pens write on that paper. And there's a scene where the parents are writing a letter and I just was cap captivated by watching that scene because I'm like, oh, that ink flows so nicely on that paper. Um, so I don't know, that's kind of a, a stupid thing. Um, but, you know, after that montage, you kind of start to have the wheels turn a little bit, you know, like the light bulb moment uh, for the, for the twist, the reveal. There's definitely an oh shit reveal moment in the movie where everything comes together and um, it has a fun ending. Um, kind of like, you know, I, I don't want to call it a cliffhanger ending because it's not really a cliffhanger ending, but it's a, a resolution to the story for this part here. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the boy 
20, I, I'm saying 2016, but that doesn't sound right. Yeah, I guess it is, 2016. I know that there was, there's a second, The Boy 2, um, that was, okay, that was 2020, so that was something relatively recent. Um, oh yeah, and that has Katie Holmes in it, so good cast. Um, but I definitely recommend it. I know Malcolm does. So on our recommendation, give the boy a chance. Give it a one watch. And uh, if you've already seen it, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, have a great day. I would like to thank all the little people who work so hard to make this picture a success. I would like to thank them. But I really can't because I did it all myself.